Man, Rooster, it's got to be 5 o'clock somewhere. Arr, arr, arr. Welcome back to You Know. It's that show. I'm Bishop. I'm Rooster. And today, you better respect the blue. Do it. Respect them. Respect, respect the authority. I mean, there are bad cops out there like there are bad people out there. There's bad people of every creed, color, whatever you want to do. But the blatant fucking disrespect for the police that has been happening, is it makes me sick to my it's stomach. It's astounding. Dude. It's as, as the people on literally like our society's front lines who we call for help when anything is the problem, yeah. to just be shit on like this is unacceptable, dude. It, yeah, you know, that shit in Chicago. Yeah. And I am telling you, uh, I mean, my heart goes out to them, man, my respect, because I don't, I couldn't do that. Seriously, I, I, I'd be done. I, 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 quit. Couldn't, I couldn't be underneath. You know, a mayor and a governor that didn't respect what I do for the community. Right. I couldn't be in a community where people didn't respect me. Exactly. And you're going to tell me I can't run after somebody? Yeah. You're going to tell me I can't handcuff somebody? Exactly. If they, if they are able to get up out of my grip, yep. I can't pursue? Exactly. You are out of for, your so, damn mind. So anybody who doesn't know, the mayor of Chicago passed these new laws that the police have to abide by which basically totally limits their ability to do anything. Like, if they don't have a confirmed ID on who a suspect is, it basically takes away their right to do anything. They can't chase them. They can't tackle them. If they're trying to subdue him and somebody else comes and pushes them out of the way, it's like they're free to go. They can get up and run away and you legally cannot chase them. There's videos of officers just getting bullied and manhandled by groups of people. Yeah. And just to save one friend who gets out and runs and then they... Then they stand and because they can't chase after people. And then another guy comes up behind them and shoves them to the ground and they start tackling them. I'm like, yeah. yep. what the fuck is going on, people? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing about it from people. They say, well, there has to be this reform in law enforcement. No. You know what you need to do? Is follow the fucking rules. Right. And they're there for a reason. Now, if you live in an area where you feel like the law overreaches its power, that's your decision to be there. You know? Don't be there. Right. Move. Get out of it. Exactly. Or work but, towards lawful means to change the law in the way that you see fit. But I am so sick and tired of these people that they talk about, you know, well, the cops, we need to defund the police. So we need to restructure law enforcement uh, and this and that. You know what? Like you said, they're bad cops. They're bad people. It's going to happen. That's just nature. But the fact of the matter is, I would love to see you sit at home. And somebody break into your house in the middle of the night with a gun and they're threatening your life. Who are you going to call? It ain't the fucking Ghostbusters. Right. <laughs> but you're praying for a law enforcement and somebody carrying a gun and they're there real quick. And now when they show up, they can't even do their job. It's like, oh. they're like, oh, we're here to rescue. Oh, sir, we need permission to enter your house. Actually, we can't actually chase the suspect who just stabbed you unless we know who he is. No, yeah. Unfortunately. So. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. You know, I, I'm thankful we live in an area where everyone around here has a, a really healthy relationship with law enforcement. Oh, yeah. Because I, I can't imagine living in a big city anymore and, and, and having to deal with... Um, you know, I I, I'm, I I try to be as lawful as I can at all times, right? I'm sure we, everybody breaks and bends the rules to some degree here right. and there. But <clears throat> to be able to, to live in a community where law enforcement respects you back and they understand that they have a job to do and they're there to protect you and all they're doing is asking you a few questions, making sure you're really not somebody they're looking for. Right. As opposed to in the big cities that are close to us now, you know, they have these demonstrations and riots and things that are going on and these police, police officers are in riot gear. And we know a handful of them and been told the horror stories about having bricks thrown at them. Yeah. You know, uh, Molotov cocktails, knives, um, get being shot at, literally being shot at, you know, because somebody's hiding in a group and they decided to fire on the cops. That is not okay. That is not okay. And those individuals incite those type of riots and demonstrations that are not peaceful, they need to be held accountable. Right. Not the cops, the people that are inciting the riots. Exactly. So we're 
we need to <laughs> we need to we need to honor the boys the boys and girls in blue. We we can't we can't turn our backs on them and and uh, as as a as a society we need to do more for them. You know, a lot of police departments and law enforcement departments they aren't paid a whole lot. Oh yeah, they aren't paid a whole lot. Hell no, and have to put up with that shit. Um, no, I'm surprised we have any cops left. Willing to, I mean, around here it makes sense. Like you said, we respect our police; they respect us. Right. We have a very healthy relationship. But in a lot of parts of the world, I wouldn't take that fucking money for that job. No, hell no, no. I mean, they are paid better than the military, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> but the thing is, you, you know, stop, stop turning. Everybody needs to stop turning their backs on law enforcement. You know, you see a cop, you see a sheriff. You see, you know, whatever your local law enforcement is, you know, thank them. You know, take a second and just thank them. Just say, I appreciate what you do. Thanks for doing what you do. You know, uh, stop the shit where everybody, you know, I mean, literally, what's next at this point? I mean, these groups of people are going to start attacking these officers in a, in a, in a, in a, in a more forceful and lethal way yeah. than what's happening. You know, these governments... And uh, law, you know, uh, local municipalities are turning their backs on the people, the very people that protect them. Exactly. And once it goes to a certain point in some of these areas, it's going to start becoming really lethal. Right. Right. And then I, the, the deal with uh, Lightfoot up in um, Chicago, mm -hmm. where that officer was killed, and she went up to, uh, she went to the hospital um, to go give her condolences to the family, and apparently. Like the majority of the officers that were there all turned their backs to her while wow. she was walking through the hallways. They wouldn't acknowledge her. Wow. And I don't blame them one damn bit. Seriously. You're going to tell me I can't do something that's going to protect my life and the lives of others. And so you lost an officer? Just for face. Just to save face. Right. So you get what you get. You Beetlejuice looking son of a it's, bitch. It's absolutely <laughs> sick of me. Beetlejuice. It's funny because before I even knew it was Lightfoot or whatever, that's what I always heard was Beetlejuice. Was like, it's the Beetlejuice mayor. I'm like, what? Who are you talking about? It's horrible. It's it's horrible. It we was, don't we don't talk horrible. about a lot of things on the show that like genuinely upset me to my core, but this is one of those things where I it, I cannot stand it. Me Seeing too. that video of of police officers just getting completely harassed and mm -hmm. and there's nothing that they can do about it is mm -hmm. is insane you know this lack of accountability um, that these that these decisions are, are are enabling is going to lead to greater things going on down the road yeah right like uh, we're, we're just now witnessing wh what it what it could be mm -hmm. I mean look at Portland right. That shit is on fire. Exactly. That shit is on fire. You know? And that is not... that. I, I, I want to say it's not okay, but for, you know, two almost two years, the, the law up there, the elected officials have turned their backs on law enforcement, and finally they've had enough. They're right. like, you know what? Fine. You think it's gonna, this is going to work out for you? Deuces. Right. We're out. Have fun with that. And yeah. now they're screaming. Now they want the National Guard to come right. in. <laughs> right? To clean it up. No, you had a police you force. You fucked that up yourself. You defunded it. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. You're yeah. not getting military. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's bad. It's really bad. I, I, like I said, it's, it's hard for me to even contemplate the fact. I mean, it's a society we live in and all the media that's pushed on police oppression and all this mm -hmm. stuff that's obviously driven public opinion to drive laws but it's I so in my m mindset I feel like this spread of information is partially responsible for it, is, it is to a certain degree but it, you also have to look at it as the way we've talked about how this is all intertwined right like every piece intertwines with every other piece right there's there's always for a lack of a better term smoke and mirrors when you have one thing put in front of you, there's something else going on in the backside, mm -hmm. and then something changes, a policy changes, and then now that becomes forefront, but then the chaos that it's created is now the front face, and now other shit's being right. pulled out in the background. <laughs> yeah. It's a never-ending cascade yeah. to a personal agenda that you're basically telling everybody that you, you under, that you understand that their feelings are first, and they should be held accountable for doing wrong shit. Yeah. No. 
No. And as my mom would say, bring that ass over here so I can beat it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I don't understand how, it, how we have so many people that have so much disregard for law enforcement. It blows my mind. It, it makes me think I'm walking around a society of everybody that's just constantly breaking the rules, and I just don't know it. Right. <laughs> like, apparently, I, I'm, I'm walking in between dimensions, because on the other side of that veil, it looks like something out of some LSD Barnum and Bailey circus going on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit is just going off the chain, and I just don't see it. <laughs> like... I'm doing all right. <laughs> Apparently, you're running for your life. What'd you do? <laughs> what did you just do? Right. And it's difficult for us because, like we've said, we live in a town where we have a lot of respect for our officers and, and vice versa. They respect the community. We don't get treated like shit by police officers. No. So it's hard to see from a perspective in somewhere like Chicago or whatever where police are getting killed on the daily. So they act with a certain way towards people because they know their lives are in danger and that builds more hate for the police and and so it's understandable how that all arises but at the same time there's got to be better solutions to the problem than you would they taking away their power yeah, to you, do their job and you, would, you would think so i mean i i don't know the exact number and i would have to do the research on it but the point is is the murder rate in chicago right now is like through the roof and that doesn't surprise it's me at all it's through the roof right that doesn't surprise and, me at all and now they're screaming at the police because you're not protecting us. But at the same time, you got somebody looking like she crawled out of a damn crib <laughs> telling everybody, you can't do your job. This is not okay. I crawled mean, out of a crib. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she literally needs a little bit of a little green shit and a striped shirt on. <laughs> she's good to go. Michael Keaton's jealous, trust me. <laughs> she might have been the stand-in when he made the movies, for all I fucking know. <laughs> but yes. you can't you 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 can't be upset that your murder rates through the roof, and Chicago has some of the tightest gun laws. Oh yeah, in the country. Oh yeah, Illinois is you know across the board. Chicago even more, and their murder rate is through the roof with gun violence. But yet cops can't do their jobs because they've been told not to. Right. But then now the people are pissed at the cops and not pissed at the person that told them they can't do their jobs. Right. Wake up, everybody. Do a little research. It seems like there's no right answer, though. You know, it's. I mean, obviously, this is a very incorrect answer to defund the police and take away their ability to do their job. Hey, man, I've told you. Let's go back to 1860s. <laughs> yeah, you steal a fucking apple, you're getting a nine mil on the chest. <laughs> That's it. Let's go. That let, fucking let, sheriff let, drags your body into the jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be stealing shit. <laughs> Maybe we can take it even a full level farther and go, like, fucking Middle Eastern and cut off somebody's fucking hand every time they fucking... <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but, you know, if you look at you look at what the rule of law was coming up through history, when they used to hang people on town square, you think, you think that town was rowdy? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the crazy thing was? Is that it used to be an event. Right. Like, the whole the town would come, out, yeah. would come out. They'd have picnics and shit. Yeah. Like, oh... That's that horse fucker. <laughs> He's swinging today. Don't have to worry oh about Betsy God. tonight. Right? <laughs> if that's motivation not to fucking do something. <laughs> I mean, it's barbaric. We, we shouldn't go back it's that far. Very but barbaric. Too barbaric. The, the thing is, they're, they're, you're right. You're absolutely right. There has to be a different type of reform. But and what, what does that look like? I mean... What does that look like? I mean, to me, we've talked about it. I think it's the implement, implementation of technology, right? We talked about the chips and the hands and the mic right. and the transmitters and stuff. So if you don't have regular police running around, you're gonna have to you're gonna have you're to gonna start monitoring. I robot. You're gonna you have man. to start monitoring people, <laughs> right? It's gonna have to happen. Exactly. So you either respect the people in blue, or you're gonna get a chip in your freaking right? hand, and then your freedoms start going away one by fucking one. Wait a minute, they're, they're, we still have freedoms. <laughs> <laughs> what is that word? What was that word? Freedoms. <laughs> we have rights. Wait a minute. Rights. I don't know. Are, are we in America? I think so. 
I think so. I think it's made it this long. Hopefully. Are we in America? Yeah. The, the difference between people who are born in America and think we're oppressed and all this stuff between, like, a fucking Chinese person who comes to America and I've watched this whole documentary on immigration and stuff and Chinese people talking about reading the Declaration of Independence for the first time and trying to understand the idea that, like, we the people have certain unalienable rights and people having to explain to them the fact, like, no, you as an individual, like, you have rights mm-hmm. that cannot be taken away from you. And seeing all these people's minds literally blown at the fact that they have control over themselves and not, you know, they're not manipulated or controlled by a government entity, that really opened my eyes to how special it is what we have here. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, unless you see that other side of people who are totally oppressed and have never had a life where they get to make their own decisions. Right. Then you you start to realize like how special it is, our freedom that we truly and not just here in America, you know, lots of countries, but right, America is the beacon, right? Yeah, it is the it is the model, you know, um, for individual rights and so It's rights. literally written into our founding document, and so you know th- those men and women in law enforcement are there to uh, enforce your rights as well as enforce the rights. Of law, and so you know, just take like I said, do some research on your own. Like you said, look look it up and, and see what other people live in in different countries. And as far as us, you know, do us a favor. Next time you see somebody in law enforcement, thank them. Yeah. Uh, you know, it doesn't two you know two seconds to say thank you. You know, uh, will make his or her day that much better. They could be having a really crappy day. And you just by doing that, they know that somebody appreciates them. But we want to know your opinions as well. So like this video, subscribe, and leave those comments because yeah. we're pretty sure this one's got to get some people riled up. That's why I even wore the John and Cash. Walk the line. <laughs> we're walking the line. <laughs> but less the next round's on you, folks. We got to go. Cheers. Cheers. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to, you know, that show.